morning everyone so today i will be dealing with the third chapter of moral sense that is strengthen your character in this chapter i will deal with uh, a virtue called honesty we will see its vitality and why we should adopt it in our daily life see uh, honesty in simple words mean to speak the truth and act in a truthful manner honesty is a virtue and why i'm saying it is a virtue see a person who is honest he is fair and sincere not only towards oneself but also with others he is free from all kind of evil motives a person who is honest he is respected loved and appreciated by everyone living in the society see honesty is the need of the hour today if everyone living in the society become honest definitely this society will be the ideal society but in practical terms it is not like that there are numerous examples numerous people who are going through dishonest means we are seeing many we come across many examples of leaders merchants uh, administrative officials and others where we see they are practicing uh, dishonest means uh, they are practicing dishonesty they are going for cheating taking bribes and collecting huge amount of wealth and even you will see that some of the people believe that see they are going through illegal means they are practicing dishonesty then also they are happy they are having too much wealth they are having the prestige in the society but all these things are for a short period of time this honesty never leads to a road of success in a long while okay so in long terms if you want success in your life go for honesty those dishonesty will give you success only for a shorter period of time not in a long run okay now without taking much of your time i want to move into the topic so the virtue honesty is explained through a beautiful story uh, which is about an orphan boy named basant basant he is living along with his younger brother pratap in a shepherd village along with his uncle the boys are orphan because their parents have been killed in a bomb blast and basant he is a very hard working boy so during the day time to meet his expenses and to meet the daily requirements of uh, uh, his brother and as well as his own he go for he used to go for selling the products like matchbox candles and others uh, which are used by people in daily life and during the night he used to go for night school to continue his education so he was working very hard to uh, meet the daily requirements of his life as well as to pursue his education one morning when he went to the market to sell his products the day was not good for him because he was not able to send, sell any of the product finally while looking around he found a man who was named as rajkishore and who was a leader of labor union he followed him and requested him to buy something although rajkishore refused to buy something but due to the insistence and pressure made by uh, Raj, uh, basant rajkishore uh, was irritated and even pushed him aside but finally when uh, basant revealed him that uh, sir please buy something i have not earned anything since morning so please help uh, please buy something and help me so he was moved and uh, uh, ultimately uh, he he was not sorry he was not moved ultimately after listening basant he took out 10 rupees note and gave him basant refused to take the 10 rupees note instead he told i am not a beggar i don't want the money if please if you want to help me please buy something so after listening this rajkishore was moved by uh, the uh, by the gestures of basant and finally he you know, started searching for the change although he don't have the change so he told i don't have the change so basant told okay keep this matchbox i'm bringing the change so he took the 10 rupees note ran to the market to bring the change rajkishore was waiting uh, but after a certain time he felt that 
the person was a dishonest boy who took this 10 who took his 10 rupees note and uh, when he did not return back finally rajkishor left the place so the after this uh, whole uh, things uh, when rajkishor uh, during the night after taking his dinner he was moving outside for the night walk a boy in a very um, uh, hurry uh, in uh, hurriedly uh, approached him and asked him sir who is uh, uh, whose how uh, sir do you know rajkishor who uh, where he is living so rajkishor was very astonished he asked him what is the matter i am rajkishor so the boy was none other than pratap who was the younger boy of basant then pratap explained him sir my brother basant when uh, he you he have sold that matchbox to you and to bring the change he went to the market but unluckily he stepped on banana peel and fell uh, because of that uh, accident he was not able to return back and give you the change so he sent me to you then rajkishor felt very uh, sorry for the incidents and he asked pratap where he is basant so he told him he is in, uh, in the shepherd village and uh, living with his uncle bhiku and when um, further uh, rajkishor inquired about his parents he came to know that the uh, parents were uh, the parents of basant and pratap they died last year in the bomb blast so finally to help uh, basant he uh, called his uh, servant he called his servant amar singh and asked him to come with dr verma in the safed village now along with pratap he went to he start moving to uh, safed village when he reached uh, in the safed village he saw uh, basant in a severe pain and lying on the broken cot when he saw a rajkishor standing in front of him he stopped crying and tried and uh, was trying to stand up but rajkishor rajkishor asked him not to move and uh, told him that doctor is coming and he will definitely help him to get relief from the pain soon uh, dr verma uh, also reached the place along with uh, servant amar singh and uh, he after examination he uh, told basant you are lucky it is just a hairline fracture but now for relief you have to get admitted in the hospital but basant refused because he told uh, you all know that he was a very poor and uh, thus he also told i am very poor i would not be able to meet the hospital expenses so rajkishor intervened he told basant you are not poor you possess a very uh, a very great wealth which many people did not have with them so, rajkishor told him not to worry for anything he will take care of every expenses of him he, he also assured him to get recover soon and after recovery he would be uh, provided with a job so that he can take care of his needs as rajkishor not only helped him but also basant had basant also relieved um, basant also felt relieved as well as he thanked rajkishor for his help so children we have seen that the story reveals the beauty of this virtue see basant was a very poor boy no doubt but he was having a great wealth that is his honesty is because of his honesty only because of this virtue only he was helped by rajkishor and see when you are truthful when you are having this virtue you will have a um permanent success and that is clearly revealed from the example of basant see that is the importance why the vitality of uh, the vitality of honesty simply lies that when you want success you have to practice this honesty in a long run, in a every walk of life it is not like that ki you can be honest only in one aspect of life you should be loyal truthful sincere fair in every walk of life and then only you can get to the road of success although dishonesty 
as i have mentioned you gives you a temporary success so children please adopt this virtue as soon as possible because it will if you want success in your life if if you want a permanent success in your life this virtue can give this virtue can definitely help you in that so you all are the future of the uh, nation you are the future of the society so definitely if you practice this you will be able to build a honest society where everyone will be living peacefully with and with happiness so it's the lesson just gives you a message to practice honesty and truthfulness because they go hand in hand okay they to speak the truth and to practice honesty are not the two different things but the these two things goes in hand in hand now i have given the question answers as well as mentioned the homework please go through it revise the topic and thank you